Okay, God bless you. My name is Brother Jonathan Kale. I have a video uh, that I'm making right now, which is based on this vision that I received yesterday um, during church service <clears throat> as I was on my knees praying and I saw Obama. Okay, now this is another, once again, another vision um, of Obama. Okay, and I'm going to read to you what I saw. I saw um, paperwork. I saw paperwork, a stack of paperwork inside of a file. I saw this paperwork from someone high up, meaning like in a position uh, of authority. And I saw a young picture of Obama in the folder. And I heard a brief conversation, but saw no faces. And I heard a voice discussing how this was in the plans for a really long time. And this is about his assassination. What they were saying was in the plans, that, that his being a president was in the plans for a really long time, that his assassination was in the um, plans for a really long time. <clears throat> it was made known to me, all this is by design to assassinate him and for him to go forth in all that he, um, all the things that he's done and all the things that he plans on doing, it's all been a, a design. Um, he is a mature a Manchurian candidate. Obama, Barack Hussein Obama is a Manchurian candidate. <clears throat> now, um, if you aren't familiar with what a Manchurian candidate is, it's basically somebody who was um already, you know, handpicked to be uh, a, a a a role, a leader you know, and whatever that role was, in this case, it's a role of a, um, a president. It was already um, planned for them to pretty much, you know, undergo uh, a, a, a puppet type, you know, play the role that they designed for you to play type role, okay? And, you know, this is who Obama is. I drew a picture. I drew a picture of a uh, of this vision. Now this is the um the files. I decided to you know step my game up and kind of show you guys. I saw I saw files. I saw, you know, um, you know, papers with with, with cl uh, clips and, you know, classified files. These files were like classified files, you know, the writings on them and disclose information to the public. So I try to make it look the way I saw it in the vision. It was a bunch of, if you notice, it's a bunch of stacked papers, kind of like scattered all around. And then you got Obama in these stack of papers, and he's behind this um he's in this file, you know. So get a good glimpse of that. It's supposed to be a, a young picture of Obama. Okay. Now, so <clears throat> when I saw that. I immediately knew, you know, that Obama is going to be assassinated and that Obama was in the plans uh, for this event to take place from pretty much all his life. Uh, it's, it's very unique. You know what I mean? It's very unique. It's very uh, demented 
to know that people prey on people in the way that they pray, you know, on Obama as as a child, you know. Um, I believe that Obama was was handpicked just as it was shown to me in the vision. Um, <laughs> one day um, I was in prayer and I have other videos or a video. I don't know which one, but I have a good amount of Obama videos. But I, I, I heard in prayer um, that Obama was rejected as a child. Now, when I heard that, I got about a prayer and I was like, whoa, you know, like I wrote it down, but I was like, whoa. And then, you know, the Lord didn't say nothing else. But when he spoke it to me, it let me know that like he this is the reason why he's the way he is. He hides his bitterness, but Obama is a very bitter person. It's almost like that kid who got bullied you know their whole life and got their weight up and then you know came back to those people who bullied them you know what I mean <clears throat> not saying that um this is the exact you know best terminology I can give for Obama but this is the best I can um that I can think of because Obama uh he he he's he's somebody who, you know, he's developed this character. He's developed this character, and and I believe that he has been handpicked and been designed to be um, a castaway, and this is because of whatever secret society that has been, um, you know following him and observing him and and when I started to, and so also um after I heard the Holy Spirit tell me that then um wh whether it was that day or a day around that day f afterwards um I heard this Asian lady in this YouTube video um woman of God and this is this was before his second election. Not when I heard the Holy Spirit, but the video that was published that she made. This was um, before the second election. And she was prophesying that he was going to win the second election. And so what happened was um, when, when I listened to the video, she said, Obama was rejected as a child and I was like whoa I was really you know like wow those are the same exact words that I heard from the Holy Spirit and it's no you know she didn't put no spin on it she didn't put her own you know way she wanted to say it and I was like man that was the Holy Ghost you know what I'm saying he really said that thing just like that like nobody talks about how Obama was rejected as a child you know, only the Lord knows the things that we don't know about people. That was a powerful word. And but to others, they might think, oh, you know, this lady just thinks she she just talking like, you know, what I mean, like she's just describing Obama and she believes that she's speaking from the Lord. Like a lot of people, you know, like if they don't know, they don't really take it as serious like it's really God. I mean, praise God, because you are to test the spirits to see if they be of God. But you can't just stare at Obama's baby pictures and say he was rejected as a child you can't just look at his childhood pictures and say he was rejected as a child you don't know that man and he's very secretive and his his all of his records are sealed you know for the most part and, and you, do, you just don't know him we don't know obama so anything that you hear from the holy spirit uh, in regards to obama really take heed to that because god is really trying to still yet still tell us about obama Okay, um, I'm sorry, like, I'm still getting stuff about Obama, like, and I'm seeing that a lot of other children of God, you know, they are too. And um, this is not strange because we've always been getting things about Obama. It's never been, you know, about nobody else for the most part. I mean, you might get a prophecy here and there, 
you know, about Trump and praise God. And there's a good amount of prophets out there talking about what God told them about Trump. But um, I'll tell you one thing, man. You know, it's a whole lot about Obama out there, man. You know what I mean? Ain't nobody getting none of that stuff about Bush and, you know, the uh, Clinton and Hillary and whoever, like Reagan or nothing. You know what I mean? Like, everybody's always been called the Antichrist. You know, they've always called everybody the Antichrist, whether it be Reagan, Bush, Clinton. I don't think they call Clinton the Antichrist. But still, like, you know what I mean? Everybody's always calling somebody the Antichrist. The first and the second Reagan was getting called the Antichrist. And then Obama's getting called the Antichrist. I'm not saying that to say, you know, that um, Obama's definitely not of the Antichrist or any of them because they all are of the Antichrist. But there's just certain things that you, you just, you know, apart from others. And we know that apart from any other president, Obama definitely sticks out. Okay, um, I mean, clearly, I mean, he's he's supposed to be this black president. He's this mulatto president. I call him a mixed president because I'm not going to ignore the fact that his mother's not black. Why would I do that? You mean so? Uh, so anyway, um, yeah, but uh, yeah. So what I want to end in closing is I want to say that uh. Um, what was I gonna say? Obama, um, Obama, man, I forget what I was gonna say. Man, it was just on the tip of my tongue. So yeah, the whole thing about, like I said about Obama, the whole, uh, the whole thing, it's all been in design. It's all been, uh, planned out and... That's pretty much it. I know I'll probably remember later on, but um, that's 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 the whole ordeal. Okay, Obama is going to be assassinated. It was all ordained. It was all ordained. Oh, this is what I was gonna say. This is what I was gonna say. I was gonna say that uh, when I tried to look at some of his pictures online, um, you can. And I, I can encourage you all to do this as well. When you look at, like, when you go to Google Images and look at Barack Obama, you can tell it is young pictures. You go to, like, type in, like, um, young pictures of Obama. Like, you know, you can tell that he was really designed to be this person. He's really lived a neglected life. He's really lived a secluded life, I think it would be better for me to say. A life secluded and you can just tell. All these pictures just look like they just were following him. He was their model. He was their model guy. And it was just, you know, all by design. You know, they're like, you know, just taking pictures, taking pictures away. You know, just they take a little pictures of him. You know, and they're just following him around. You know, they're just following his life. And nobody knows about him. You know, nobody knows a great deal about him. You know, and um, yeah, that's really what I really wanted to say is that when you follow his uh, his pictures of his young pictures, he just he you just don't see a lot of pictures of him with a lot of people. You know what I mean? You just don't see a lot of pictures of him with a lot of people. Okay. Uh. And also, you know, just to add before I let this picture, this video go, man, please stop saying that Michelle Obama is a man. Please cut it out. It's time to mature. You can see all these little baby pictures of Michelle Obama, all these young Michelle pictures of Michelle Obama. She was a little girl. I mean, you could look at her pictures and then look at his pictures and realize, you know what, they weren't really worried about who his wife was going to be. And I believe that. They probably even set up who his wife was going to be. I wouldn't even doubt. I'm just talking from the side of my neck right now. But the way they just established his life and just puzzled, put it in puzzle pieces, you know, you can just tell that they really, it's been a puzzle. And every every piece of um, the puzzle has, you know, 
came to a head and it's coming more and more to a head um and i'm pretty sure they did trial and error and all that but but when you look at her life they weren't you could tell that mm -mm, they wasn't following her around like they was following him around she he could have had any wife she wasn't the big focus the focus was him I just wanted to say that because a lot of people really slander and you don't want to be guilty for slander okay you don't want to um, be guilty for slander on the last day uh, on the last day you want to resurrect so praise God I thank God for you God bless you I appreciate all alright Jesus loves you amen repent